Hello Scorpios, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of June 15th to the 21st. Okay, so let's see what we have for you guys. Okay, well, new beginnings. This is looking good. Um, we have the judgment card out here, and a lot of you, too. I do feel that um, that Mercury retrograde period was a little bit problematic for a lot of you based on the June reading, but I do sense by this week a lot of that information is kind of like um, reflected on, filtered out, and you know how to move forward at this point in your life, okay? So things are looking great. Um, the situation that came to light, and I, I feel like that troublesome energy for the first two weeks especially, it was brought about by somebody from your past, okay? We have the Six of Cups crossing it here. I can't emphasize this enough, okay? Um, you know that whole Saturn return phase? It ended in um, last year, 2014. A lot of you are still clinging on to things from the past, especially people, especially people, because you are also very people oriented and you establish very strong, deep emotional connections with other people. You might not show it, but I feel that a lot of you have trouble letting go. Okay. And one of the lessons that Saturn teaches us is in general, you have to learn to let go. Otherwise, um, especially when it comes to things that you know for a fact are not good for you or not healthy for your well-being. Uh, things that do not contribute to your um, to longevity or even to your growth. It is really important um, to like once you outgrow someone or especially once people have proven themselves to be untrustworthy, please just let it go because that's crossing you right now. That's preventing the new situation from coming through. Okay, it, it's preventing new beginnings from really starting. And um, since Saturn, that Saturn transit ended in December of 2014, Saturn is going back into Scorpio right now. And it's going to happen, um, I feel like, I believe it's the end of June. So you're going to get tested one more time. But I feel like no matter what, it's blocking new energies from coming in for you. So just please... Don't even interact with people from your past. It's not going to serve any purpose. For those of you, though, um, and I feel like, you know, depending on where you fall, if you are the one that is unable to let go of the other person, then, you know, really let them go. If you're on the other, other side of the coin where other people are not letting you move forward, you're going to have to, you know, take the initiative and kind of like just weed them out. You have to be mean about it if you need to, just weed them out. But in general, this is also like um, the past is coming back up as well for you to re-examine the path that you're on, okay? So it can play out in the mundane sense that, you know, people are just being troublesome and meddlesome. Or it, in the greater scheme of things, it can be something a little bit more cosmic, a little bit more troublesome in that you have to like reinvent yourself and you have to really assess what it is that you're doing, especially like life choi uh, lifestyle choices or decisions that you've made and to know if it's in alignment with your values and your beliefs. Okay, so that's really, really important as well because once again, new beginnings cannot start because you're being blocked here and it's a universal blockage so don't allow old behaviors to affect new things from happening for yourself okay in the recent past we have the seven of cups and this is in the reverse position so I do feel that a little bit of clarity came into your life in the recent past and because of it, I do sense that um, in general, for those of you who have falling out, um, who have had falling, falling out with other people from your past, you're starting to realize, um, you know, where they're coming from. So it's sort of like, it's very good clarity in that it explains to you other people's motives. It explains to you your own motives for doing something. And because of it, you're able to grow and you're able to realize that, um, you know, it needed to happen, and in the greater scheme of things, you're starting to see the big picture, okay? So, even if 
the information is like um, desirable, even if, for example, if someone from your past who has has been very hostile with you, and you're trying to figure out why, and then this information came to light in which they tell you, you know, it's because they were jealous of your behavior with other people, like coworkers or friends and things like that. Then you realize, okay, they really care about me. That's why they were jealous. It doesn't mean it doesn't excuse the behavior. And it also doesn't change anything that happened in the past, okay? So if there was a falling out, there was a reason for it. Knowing this information now doesn't change anything. However, you can take the information, you can process it, and then you can move on forward. And then you can, you know, be a better person when you deal with situations in the future. So instead of waiting for things to escalate, you can ask your relationship partner in general, like, um, you know, how they feel and ask them to express themselves a little more or you yourself can learn to be more expressive in the future so either way it doesn't mean that okay maybe I can rekindle the situation I don't feel that's what it's meant to be because Saturn weeds out things that don't work in your life so they have gone through the ringer and they didn't make the cut so there's no point for that past energy to be coming back okay on top of that what's crowning you here is um I also feel that you're putting on a very brave face and you you are trying to like um, not let it affect you but at the same time you're dealing with a lot of regret you're dealing with a lot of like um, you know like what ifs and um, in general I do feel that you are embarking on a new phase so don't get dragged down by this past energy which which is essentially is blocking you from new things okay so you are br putting on a brave face about it because you don't want the other person to realize how much they are affecting you but at the same time you know reflecting back on this situation say your piece and move on okay because ultimately what's coming in for you is that um this situation is not repairable Okay, and you know that, and um, it's really important for you to really accept the fact, because I do feel with the tower in the reverse position, this is something that is coming to uh, an end. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, I hate to use this expression, but um, this is the only thing that I can think of. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion, okay? There's nothing anybody can do about it. It is going to happen. It is going to end in tears. But you're outside of the situation, so you're not like heavily affected. But at the same time, you are sympathetic. You are empathetic with the people that are involved in this process. And when you're looking at this, this is something that cannot be repaired you see it coming so you know how to prevent yourself from really getting hurt and the important thing is it is really important for you to just not get hurt because you know in this deck there's only one person falling out of the tower whereas in the standard rider weight deck there are two people so it's kind of like both parties have contributed to this falling out and both parties are hurt severely in this deck I'm sensing like one party is severely hurt if you are a male in a relationship with a female, I do feel that um, more than anything, you know, she's she's going to land on her feet. She's going to be okay. And uh, you're not in the picture in this context. So I do feel in general that it is going to be, you know, you're, you're watching this and you're watching this situation culminate and come to an inevitable end, okay? For Scorpio women, I do feel in general, likewise, you are going to land on your feet. No matter what so the other party is nowhere in sight keep that in mind okay so despite all the promises they're not there to catch you when you fall however you have divine intervention here you have all these butterflies that, that are kind of like um, pulling her dress and um, trying to like pad her for a, a softer landing okay so people are going to be there for you to catch you when you fall it's just not the person that um, you expect it okay so in a way it's better because you have more people that are trying to pad your landing rather than putting your eggs in one basket and depending on one person who didn't follow through you're going to be okay so don't worry too much about it and you know the tower is never a good card 
in any position, but in general, it is much more favorable in the um, reverse position. But at the same time, the crowning energy is that you're going to be fine. You know, this is uh, your card. It can be male or female, but I do feel that uh, there's a heavy Scorpio influence in this situation. For those of you who are, um, well, in every context, I do feel that ultimately it's sort of like you know you know what's going to happen and for those of you who knowingly walked into this situation anticipating kind of like the worst case scenario it is the worst case scenario and it, it's going to happen but because you prep yourself I feel that you're going to be okay emotionally at least so um, as for the advice here we have the two of wands and the Two of Wands is basically, um, when I look at this card, I do feel like it's in the reverse position. But if you look at this, I do sense that in general, it's sort of like the world is opening up for you. A lot of people say this is also like the planning stages. The initial stages of starting um, a project It's sort of like looking at the world and dreaming about the possibilities. I do feel in the reverse position here that it's not realistic for you at this point to be dreaming because I do feel that coupled with the seven of cups in the past position there was um, a great deal of like um, it's kind of like idolizing you know the wrong things it's kind of like um, casting all your aspirations into wrong people I'm sensing it's related to people and it might be also in situations where um, you're kind of like enchanted by the way somebody looks rather than the substance that they they possess okay so that's um, type of attitude and that type of like behavior definitely needs to change and it needs to be left behind and I do feel moving forward that you're going to be a lot more realistic and you're going to take extra time to really uh, plan out projects, plan out relationships, plan out um, a multitude of things that you're going to um, move forward with. So in general, it's, um, it's kind of like at the same time, I do feel it's a little bit fear-based in that you're being extra cautious, okay? And I don't feel there's anything wrong with that because, you know, on the heels of the tower, you really want to be cautious. So it, it seems like the practical thing to do. And as for your external environment, we have the Ace of Coins. So in general, you know, financial situations are looking good. A lot of you too. Um, I do sense in general that, you know, if this is a work situation, new projects will come that will bring you a lot more financial prosperity and a lot more happiness in general, okay? As for your uh, hopes and fears, in general, the Seven of Wands also indicates like a, a card of, de it's a card of defense. It's sort of like, doing what you want and you don't really despite the opposition okay so in a way you have to defend yourself but you're kind of hesitant about doing that because that puts you on the spotlight and in this situation I do feel that you're ready to take that spotlight or you know have that spotlight shine on you you're ready to be in the limelight and you're ready to like give people your peace of mind because what they feel what they do has really no has no bearing on who you're about okay so in a way it's sort of like despite the opposition you're going to shine you're going to um, be able to express the things that you need to express and whatever they have to say that's that doesn't really affect you so you're hoping for that situation you're hoping for that but there's also a little bit of anxiety in general where you you are like um, put on the spot and you have to like think on your toes so there's an element of that. So it's it's a little bit fear-based. But let's look at the outcome here. Okay, so the outcome in general. We have the Seven of Swords in the upright position. This is not a, a good card in general. The financial situation in general from your external environment, there is going to be quite a bit of money coming through for you. And I do feel that you're kind of like, uh, you're being recruited, okay? The only problem is stand true to your values because this hard lesson that Saturn taught you is going to be repeated. We are going to go through that whole cycle in which um, 
Saturn is going back to, you know, it's going to transit Scorpio once again, okay? So Sagittarius are getting like a little bit of a break, but at your expense, okay? So sorry about that. But what I am sensing is if this is a similar situation, if you're starting to feel like deja vu, do things a little differently, okay? So that it doesn't lead to the same outcome. So do things differently and be very realistic about how you want to be perceived. Be very true to yourself. Even though others don't agree with you, you don't have to play nice, okay? You can just tell them to walk away and you're going to continue doing what it is that you want to do. However, if you've been doing the same thing without getting different results, if anything this week screams out deja vu, start thinking about things a little differently because you're heading down the wrong path, essentially. Also, um, when it comes to like the financial situation, ask a lot of questions. I do feel this is finance related as well. As for the Hierophant, um, in the this is also um, a very spiritual card. Okay, it's um, in this deck. I'm reading it as a mixture of the magician, and uh, it's somebody that has a lot of power for good or for bad. So in this situation, if I do feel that this is also like a karmic a karmic and a cosmic um, energy cycling through to force you to confront a lot of uncomfortable issues, okay? So it, it, for those of you who are working um, in a company, in a very big institution, especially like um, when it comes to law, be very careful that you're not um, doing anything that, you know, outside of the guidelines, okay? Just be very careful. And at the same time, I do sense that for those of you who have been, um, you know, bogged down with like financial obligations and who have come from a place of like uh, financial worries, I do feel that there is going to be an opportunity this week, be very careful about this, where you can, you or somebody else that you're dealing with, it's sort of like um, using kind of like a red herring to distract everybody so they can skim off some money from the top okay like so there is an element here of deception but at the same time it's sort of like causing a um it's causing a spectacle so that somebody else can get away with you know skimming off the top and like there's some there's some money missing and that element is going to come out for this week so be very careful about this if this is something that you're doing, I would say, you know, just protect yourself. Be very, very careful. But I do feel that this is very karmic. So watch yourself. Watch your back. If this is something that um, happened in the past and you're continuing the same type of behavior, I just want you to be very, very careful, okay? Um, it's sort of like the law of the universe. You know, whatever you take, you're going to have to pay back eventually. If not this lifetime, then the next. And then it's also like uh, there are two acts of, um, there are two crimes committed. The first is just, you know, the, the physical act of stealing. That money has to come from somewhere. So it needs to be repaid and it's going to get repaid in different ways. And at the same time, it's um, dis distorting, I guess, the balance of the universe. Whereas, you know, that money is supposed to go to somebody, now they're deprived of it. So you're kind of disrupting the flow as well. So not only do you have to pay it back, I feel that in general, you have to pay it back tenfold. So that's just the way the universe works. What goes around comes around and things like that. But it's going to come around because of the Saturn return, because of like this cosmic energy. It's going to come around in a way that you did not anticipate. Okay, so be very careful for this week. Stay true to yourself. Um, buffer yourself against temptation in general. Temptations in every respect, in every aspect of your life, okay, on the work front, on, in romance, and don't covet things that belong to other people in general, okay? So, Scorpio, sorry again for another grim reading, but I do feel in general that um, Saturn is making a comeback in your sign, so just be very careful and watch out for signs, watch out for warnings, you have very strong intuition, so always listen to your inner voice, okay? I hope, regardless, that um, for those of you who are on the straight and narrow, who have learned the lessons and who are, you know, just trying to lay low and trying to do the right thing, I really commend you. And um, I do feel in general that um, this energy will alleviate. So, you know, 
try to have a good weekend. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.